media Filipino citizen. <laughs> Remember, I am a congressman, so we will find a resolution. <laughs> Bernard Hopkins last week in, in New York said that Mayweather is used to countering guys who are much slower than you, and that you can come with five, six, seven, eight, nine punches at a time. Do you see a, a way to force him to fight? Mm, what we're doing in training, uh, we're very happy because uh, we're not focusing on one one strategy, one technique, but uh, more than two or three, more than two or three strategies, and. Uh, either way, you know, if you want to fight me, that's good for me. And if you want, if you're running, running like that, if, um, I mean, moving around the ring, so we already prepare for that. <laughs> I, I don't know, change my my words because if we say running, running, it's not like that. Pacquiao for Argentina TV. This is the most important act of your career, but. Is my weather the most dangerous opponent that you have? And what do you know about Argentina? I cannot say that um, it's the most uh, dangerous opponent in my career because uh, I have fight, um, I already fight uh, for a, a good fighter like De La Hoya, uh, Miguel Cotto, and other other boxers, uh, Mar Marquez, and anything. And I think uh, I could say uh, one of the uh, of the. Uh, I can say that he's that difficult uh, opponent. I mean, my my confidence now is uh, um, this is this is what I feel right now is my confidence is, is different than the other third fight that I had. I mean, I have no nervous. Maybe the people will get nervous, but you know, I'm what I feel excited. You know, I, yeah, this this is it. I have to prove uh, to prove something. That every time that I'm un under look, I, mean, I like that because my my killer instinct, my my focus is there. This is this is what I want. Bob, well, how do you compare working with Bob? Aaron? How do you compare working with Manny compared to the other big names you've worked with in the past? Well, they're all different. I mean, the guys that I remember and uh, fondly are working with. And I've worked with so many great fighters. Of course, the great Muhammad Ali, uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Manny Pacquiao. And I must say, I have never worked with a fighter, with an athlete like Manny Pacquiao. Somebody who is so intensely dedicated to doing good for people, for making a difference in his country, uh, for uh, making life better for people less fortunate than he is. Manny Pacquiao really, really uh, is somebody that I admire tremendously for what he does outside the ring. Inside the ring, Ali, Hagler, Pacquiao, all great fighters. But outside the ring, Manny Pacquiao, really special. Guys, five more minutes. John Cersei. Freddie, question for you. Um, I'm different for uh, those 47 he fought, um, and I think uh, I'm, I'm more faster than them. And I, you know, I mean, I'm confident for the fight. I think this is the um, this is the moment that uh, I believe he will uh, he will experience uh, loss. Well, you know, he's never came up with him with anyone with better speed than he has. And we do have better speed, and I feel we have better power. You know, we're using that, and, you know, we're, we're going to use uh, a lot of uh, quick quick movements. And I don't think he's going to be able to handle it, and I don't think his legs are quite there anymore. He can't move for 12 rounds like he used to. And when he were right, he can't run for 12 rounds. 
But the thing is, we will we will catch him somewhere along the way. If he wants the rest of the ropes, we'll take advantage of it. And uh, again, we're ready to go 12 hard rounds, and that's what we train for. Yes, I do. I think we can now point you to no problem. Oh, yes. Um, I always trust the, the, the commission, the judges, uh, the officials. And of course, uh, our, our focus is not only uh, looking for a knockout, but uh, throwing a lot of punches in case, in case of a uh, you know, uh, distance fight. Freddie, question for you. Uh, Manny was asked earlier if this is personal for him, but how personal is it for you, considering you've been against Mayweather before and some of the things that you've said about him and some of the back and forth? Well, you know, he, um, he fought Oscar, and I got Oscar ready for that fight. And, uh, I, you know, I honestly thought Oscar could have won that fight. It was very close. I thought he won the first six rounds, but he kind of lost track of his strategy that we worked on in the last six rounds. And he started maybe following me with him a little bit too much. And we took a lot from that fight. Actually, I learned a lot and about him and how he sets traps and so forth. And Manny recognizes when he sets a trap and we won't fall into it ever. And Manny knows exactly what to do in those situations. And I thought if Oscar could have made the right adjustments, he could have won that fight easily. But yeah, again, it was a good close fight. And I did learn a lot in that fight about Mayweather. Last two questions. Manny, um, as you know, it's been five years before the talk about you guys fighting. And say it's five years too late sometimes, but have you noticed anything physically uh, change in yourself in the five years that you've had to compensate for? Perhaps a little longer to get over a leg pole or something like that? Thank you. Uh, five years ago, I didn't, until now, I did change my, you know, I, I feel no changes in my, in my, in my, in my body. My dad, I, I think the changes is I, I have more experience now than the five years ago. And about the, the strategy, about the movement, the way you move is still there. The, the speed and power, like that. Um, there's no changes. Thank you. Andy, I just, right in front of you, directly. Just wanted to ask you two quick questions. One, I don't know if you know, Floyd Mayweather has a store across the street, and he's selling t-shirts that have himself with the Filipino flag in the background. I want to get your reaction to that. And then secondly, Freddie told us about this $1,800 cream that you're putting on your calves. Can you uh, explain what that does for you? OK, the first uh, question is, uh, that's good. I like that, because uh, he wants to join our team. <laughs> <laughs> DMT, the money team. <laughs> and then also uh, the second one is uh, when we start um, training uh, two months ago, uh, we I love to work hard, hard, and uh, that's why my, my, my muscles get you know uh, because we work hard right away, so it gets hurt a little bit. But uh, after uh, a few days, not not a week, it's gone. So. Uh, but the cream is not that expensive, like eight hundred. Uh, I mean, I think it's lesser than that. Yeah, the thing is that um, the prescription was made out to Manny, and he doesn't have any American citizen. I think the drugstore saw us coming and got, got us a little bit. <laughs> and it was also eighteen hundred pesos. It's fifty pesos to the dollar. Uh, thank you guys, uh, you know, what we accomplished in, in boxing, what we have done in boxing, uh, you are part of it, you are part of it. Uh, without you, who knows us? Without you, who knows boxing? So, uh, you help a lot, for, uh, you help a lot boxing, press and media, the people who always support, thank you so much for uh, always being there and promoting the fight, you know. Uh, I always uh, thank God that uh, you're there always to support boxing, especially on Saturday. Thank you, everyone. 101 will be conducted tomorrow before the press conference. We need to clear the room now uh, if everyone can leave, and then uh, we'll see you all.